Welcome to today's market update for the 20th of March 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today and suggest a couple of charts that have caught our eye in today's trading. Let's have a look at the news first of all. We saw mild gains for US equities as markets brace for that Fed rate decision tonight after their two day meeting. Yesterday, lots of movement after the BOJ potential policy change which has been widely broadcast yesterday, but we saw significant moves, particularly in yen crosses throughout the day. Looks as though the fallout from that is continuing. We'll have a look at the yen in a while. US futures are just below neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally higher following that positive US lead in early trading. ASX is managing to hold above neutral, around about 0.1% to the upside, slightly lower than its high of the session. And European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open this afternoon, but not by much. US dollar index continues to edge higher, perhaps in anticipation of a slightly more hawkish Fed than the market hopes for. And now testing the 200 EMA to the upside. Gold isn't selling off, surprisingly. It's holding on to that 2150 support, which it has been trading around over the last few days. Copper did pull back yesterday from its 11-month highs, but oil continues to edge higher. The EIA data tonight out of the US may impact on oil price. Bitcoin's drop from record highs of 73,000 continues, now retraced around about 15%. There could be more selling to come, but perhaps again we'll see that later on today. Outside of the Fed rate decision, the People's Bank of China kept rates on hold as expected. We've got German PPI and UK CPI and PPI later on this afternoon, along with Eurozone consumer confidence. That EIA oil numbers make for a busy day to day overall, plenty for the markets to digest. A couple of charts at Core RI today. I'm going to start with the yen. The yen looks continually weaker. You can see that big move yesterday at the back end of the European and into the US session. And you can see a follow through on that. We are testing highs seen in November in today's session. If we just have a look at an hourly chart, you can see that continuation. Bit of a flat line there. Pause at the back end of the US session uh, before continuing its move higher in Asia. This looks good for a potential move up, perhaps to around about 165 in the first instance. On the ASX BVS Reviewer Solutions, where a previous chart of the day that we've covered before, uh, you can see that is now breached 144, uh, which was a pause level. If we just pop this in a weekly chart, you can see the significance of this. This was support throughout much of 2022. And now we've breached that level, we could be up for a significant move, possibly in the first instance to around about 162. Very healthy return, long term, possibly even back towards that 200 MA on the weekly chart at 177. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.